Yo, what up? My name is Derek, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys whether or not you should enable K-Boost. Now, what is K-Boost? K-Boost is a boost for your EVGA graphics card. Now, I'm not 100% sure if it works on every graphics card. If you have an MSI card or an ASUS card, I'm not sure if it works on those. You have to test it out. Now, essentially, how this works is you need to get MSI Afterburner installed first, and then you need to import a profile or a user interface uh, picture or profile so that you can actually see where the K-Boost is and enable it. We'll get to that in a second. But I'm going to talk about benchmarks for it and what it does to your GPU as well. So first of all, what does it do to your GPU? Well, it maxes out your voltage and it maxes out your GPU clock being stable. So it's the max core or the max clock that EVGA set for your graphics card or whatever it is, and it will make sure it's stable and everything like that. So how do you actually install it? Well, you gotta, you gotta go to the link in the description. It is a default X. It's just a UXF file. This is the profile. You wanna just click the download button over here in the top right. Once it's downloaded, go to your C drive, go to program files x86, go to MSI Afterburner, go to skins, and then just import it inside of here. Now, once you've imported it, open up your MSI Afterburner, and it will most likely look like this, depending on what your skin's looking like. I already have KBoost on right now, but I turned it, I changed the profile so it looks like this, so I can show you how to enable it. We're gonna go to settings. We're gonna go to user interface up here. It's gonna load all of these skins, and on the top, it should say default EVGA Precision X16 skin. Click on that, press apply. It should restart your MSI Afterburner, and it should look like this. Now, on the, on the right side, you're gonna see over voltage, over boost, and K boost. K boost is what we wanna turn on, so we're gonna click on this now. It will, uh, it will tell you you have to restart your computer to actually apply the settings. Just restart your computer, you can do that real quick. Now, I know there is a way to do it without having to restart your computer every single time. There's a program that does it. I'm not sure what it's called or where to find it, but I know I've used it before. Um, if I can find that, I'll, I'll let you guys know in maybe the comments or something, or maybe another, maybe make another video or something. We'll get into that later. But anyways, enable K-Boost, reach your computer, come back, and you'll see right away that your GPU temperature will most likely be up. Mine usually is about 42. My GPU is old, and it's not very good, so just keep that in mind. But my GPU temperature is usually at 40 to 42, and right now it's at 50, 52, 51. You know, it's kind of fluctuating. And then once you start your games up, yes, it will also ramp up because your GPU is being used. You'd probably know that. But my clock was at about, I think it was 1,500 before. Now it's at about 2,100. And my voltage was, I think, at 700. I don't remember the exact voltage it was at, but now it's at 1,075. And I still have my GPU offset with my memory clock as well, with his, which is my overclock, which I will be making a video soon on how to do proper GPU overclocking. Now, if you're worried about your computer not being stable or something. Like I said, this is a built-in feature inside the EVGA cards. So they did their own testing for this. They did their own type of manufacturing or testing or whatever they did to actually enable this and make it work. So if you're worried about that, maybe don't use K-Boost. Now, one thing I will say is don't have it running 24-7. Like if you're not playing video games, try to turn it off. Like if you if you know you're not playing games for like six, seven hours, but your computer's gonna be on, I recommend turning it off. One, it will save your lifetime for your GPU so that it's not always maxing out your, cl your clocks and stuff like that. Now, if you have like pref uh, prefer maximum performance in the video control panel, it will max out your GPU clock all the time. So just keep that in mind. So let's talk about these benchmarks. So I tested Valorant and Fortnite. I spelled Valorant wrong, wrong, right, wrong right here, but whatever. Um, so this is my testing. Now, I talk about benchmark variation in my other videos. And this one, it, this, this, this is definitely not benchmark variation, as you can see. So K-Boost on in Valorant increased my FPS about a, by about 7, which is kind of crazy. My 0.2% and my 1% lows are better, as you can see. And turning it off, like I said, it lower the FPS. So I recommend turning it on if you play Valorant, which is kind of weird, actually, because Valorant is a CPU-intensive game. It's, it's based on how good your CPU is, not your GPU. So it's kind of weird seeing my FPS better with this on because this is a GPU type of tweak, but you never know. And then if we go to Fortnite, you can see that the actual FPS actually went down. Now, you can also see though that the 1% lows and the 0.2% lows went up. So it maybe it makes it a little bit more stable in terms of um, your FPS not stuttering as much, don't have many drops and stuff like that. So 
um, definitely worth trying out if you want to try it out. Now, for other games such as like uh, Apex Legends, this will probably increase your FPS by a lot because Apex is a very, very GPU intensive game. Well, actually, it's a CPU very, it's a CPU and a GPU intensive game. So I think if you played Apex or Warzone or any game that's like GPU intensive, this will increase your FPS. I think by by at least a pretty good margin. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory there. Little little hidden thing that people don't really know about, I don't think. Uh, but now you do. So uh, I hope this helped you. I hope this improved your FPS. And uh, peace out.